Hey everybody, I want to talk a brief moment about the trend that's going around where people are saying about their friends and family members aren't supporting their business and things of that nature. And I want to tell you, I used to be a person I was who was very upset because my friends and family members weren't supporting my business. Let me tell you how I got past that. In the concept of energy exchange, there's a such thing as exchanging energy of equal value. If you have a service that you're offering and you exchange it for currency to someone, that's equal value. There's another thing that happens in the energy world and that is the spirit of contriteness, the spirit of jealousy, the spirit of, you know, wanting to be better than others, the spirit of lack, the spirit of woe is me. Those are energies that are associated with the idea that someone has to support your business just because you have it, support what you're doing just because you're doing it. And I got to a point where I realized that when I held that energy within myself, I caused a stagnant energy to be placed in my business because I was focused on those who were not supporting me, which did not allow me to focus on those who were supporting me, right? And then I learned in this energy, hello, the hawks are out. Ah! Anyway, there's three of them that live out here and they don't always show up, but that's a side note. Um, but I learned this other thing when I put my focus on those who were supporting me, those who were sharing my video, sending me referrals by word of mouth, my business was able to grow and to move along. And that is because, I had to check on the smoke back there. That is because where attention goes, energy flows. And if your attention is on those who do not, you will find more people who do not. If your attention is on what is missing, you will find more things that are missing. So place your attention on things that are there, the people who are supporting you. If it's that one person, place your attention on that one person. Support that one person. Have an exchange with that person. Say, hey, I'm so thankful you supported my business because that energy will bring in more people for you to have that exchange with. And that has been what I have seen. And my mind is so incredibly powerful. I am such a phenomenal manifester that I can manifest <laughs> crap if I think of it. If I say that things are horrible, things will be horrible. I have seen that. My manifestation is on next level. That's why I live the life that I live because when I want something, it comes. When I focus on something that's not here, it becomes bigger. So I place my attention on the things that are great. Me being able to sit out here in my yard. See, I'm sitting out here in my yard, right? Then I will have more opportunities to sit out in my yard. If I focus on there's 200 people who like my video, there was one person who purchased a product from me. And I was so thankful that this one person purchased a product for me. You know what happened? That person referred someone else to me. And guess what? That meant another person purchased a product from me. And one of my other business services, I had one person, I, I paid this money for this ad and I ran this ad and out of spending all the money for the ad, I got one person who signed up for my program. And I was like, you know, that one person is not even going to pay for the ad. That was where my focus was. Then I started working with that person and I was just so thankful at the person's results. 
I was so happy to just be able to give in great results to this person. I turned off my ad because I didn't get any more people from the ad. But that one person brought me five more people. The one person. The one person that I was thankful for, right? The one person that I was grateful for ended up bringing me more people and really that has been the basis of my business it has been word of mouth most of my clients do not come from any of my ads i track them most of my clients don't come from my friends liking a post or my family members liking a post my clients come from referrals from people who have had success with what i do and what i do with them and for them or what i create The more I focus on that, the more I have those experiences. And I want you to do the same thing. Let's not focus on those who do not support. And I'm going to tell you one more thing. People don't support you for a couple different reasons. They don't support you, one, because they don't believe in what you have. Two, they don't think they need what you have. Three, they can't afford what you have or they think they can't afford what you have and four they don't know how best to support you they don't know what you do they don't understand what you do they're confused by it so they don't know what you're what you have what it's going to how it's going to help them how it's going to benefit them so there's other reasons why they aren't sharing they aren't liking it another thing i've noticed is that social media doesn't always show your post to everyone i've posted something and i've talked to some of my family members that i know follow me and i know they've supported what i've done and they're like i didn't even see that post and then i go and i look at the analytics on the post and sure enough it was only shown to like one or two people and that's because social media wants you to like promote things pay for things so there's a lot of different reasons none of those reasons really matter what matters is the ones who do support you, the ones who do show up for you, and that energy. And if it's one person, celebrate that one person. You cannot get to 10,000 without one. Okay? I hope this helps you guys on this very glorious day before the full moon. The full moon energy is coming in soon. You guys know that if you're following and tracking the full moon. It's on its way here. It's almost here. So close. And my yard is going to be like in a great space for it. All right, you guys. Be well.